Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. I've been posting some videos over the last couple of days reporting on some possible new features that could be rolling out in the feature update for Windows 11 that Microsoft is making available later this year, which is called Sun Valley 2 or 22H2 feature update. Now, just to mention one or two of those quickly that I've posted over the last couple of days is that we could be getting app folders where you can um, add apps to folders in the start menu. And another one is, which I posted yesterday, is we could be getting an overflow menu for open apps. If you have too many apps open on your taskbar, you could get a little three-dotted menu, which you click on, and then you can access those uh, overflow apps that don't fit onto your taskbar if you have too many apps open. Now, this is just a quick video, again, just to uh, inform you that um, there is a possibly another new change coming in uh, version 22H2 or codenamed Sun Valley 2 which is that feature update rolling out for Windows 11 later this year and this one's to do with storage spaces which uh, uh, Microsoft could be moving over to and migrating to the settings uh, menu with a new Windows 11 user interface and integration. Now currently in Windows 11 to get to storage spaces, you just head over to your legacy control panel. You can just do a search for that if you uh, would just like an easier option to get there if you have, haven't got control panel saved as a pinned app. And yeah, you'll see storage spaces. Now, I don't actually use this feature, but basically what storage spaces does, as it says in this description, is it says use storage spaces to save files uh, to two or more drives to help protect you from a drive failure storage spaces also lets you easily add more drives so basically um, if you have a second drive or a um, external drive added to your computer you can uh, create spaces which lets you save files basically it's a backup utility uh, to prevent um, possible uh, data loss during a drive failure now what has happened is that uh, what could be happening in 22h2 G, uh, uh, um, according to reports is that now when 22h2 possibly does roll out when you click on storage spaces this will take you over to a new uh, page now in the settings menu and this is just a screenshot and once you click on that in the legacy control panel it'll move you over to that new uh, uh, the storage spaces uh, page and menu where we can see which will be under system storage, storage spaces, storage pool, where you can manage your pool ca capacity, your storage spaces, you can add space, add a disk, and so on. And as mentioned, it's if you have uh, external or a secondary drive um, uh, enabled on your PC, just to save you from uh, data loss during a drive failure. So that's just another control panel feature that Microsoft could be moving over uh, in version 22H2 rolling out later this year. And that would be, as mentioned, when you click on uh, the actual storage spaces icon in the control panel, that will move you over to the new settings menu, storage spaces. And that would be very similar. Like um, currently, when you click on system, that takes you over to your system properties uh, um, uh, in the settings menu as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.